Hey, everybody, welcome to week number seven. <laughs> My brain just lost that number there for a second. This is, however, the week we've all been waiting for because it is the week that you're going to submit your major, major paper, the argument essay for ENG 110. So without further ado, let me go ahead and open the class. And one thing I want to mention back in, where is it at? Back in early October, there's an announcement, October 1st, that gives you a link to the template for the APA papers, as well as extra help in, and it walks you through how to integrate research into your writing. So I'm not going to go over that again this week because there is a perfectly good video that you can look at for it. Um, but I did want to remind you of that because of course that's the number one skill that you're going to be using this week is taking all those things we've been doing, paraphrasing sources, quoting sources, citing sources, and integrating that into a full length essay. So let's take a look at the unit. There's not much new in the unit in terms of what we're working on, because you've been working on this paper for quite a while now. But now you're taking what you've learned and creating the actual paper. You're always going to start with a draft. Even if you make changes as you go through, you're going to be revising as you go in some cases. But you also want to take some time once you feel like it's finished, you should put it aside for at least an hour, go watch a TV show, something, and then come back to it and make some revisions. Don't forget that you also can reach out to me through the week. Let me know if you need some individual help with the papers. Um, you also have over on the left-hand column, you have access to the APA information, the Tutor Me system, uh, and Grammarly and Academic Writer. So you are not alone in trying to complete this. So please use the resources that are there for you. Under readings and resources, you do have some new things to look at this week. And mostly it's about revising because we tend to rush through revision. Um, we tend to think of it as only looking for spelling and grammar errors, which is a big part of it, but it really shouldn't be the only thing. So take a look at the readings and the video um, and before you finish your draft and start revising it. So that's your only assigned reading and, and resource this week. Then you're going to have your first assignment, which is the discussion board, and it's about revising. So what that means is because it's due on, your post is due on Wednesday, you're gonna to need to be in that revision area already by Wednesday, even though the final version of the paper is not due until Sunday. But in your discussion board, you're gonna be learning about revision and going ahead and getting started with it. Um, and then you're going to talk about revision in the discussion board. What is your opinion on revision? How often do you revise your work? What are the dangers of not revising your work? And what is an example from this term about how you revise your work? So it doesn't necessarily have to be this particular paper, but sometime during this term, please share with the class what your revision technique was for this piece of writing. And then of course, you will also respond to your fellow classmates by um, the end of the week, by Sunday. Uh, and of course, the discussion board rubric is there for you to take a look at as well. Um, we've gone over the argument essay again and again and again, the assignment, but I'm going to point out where to find all the important things here. Um, you already know what the assignment is, but we're going to click on this. This is where you're going to turn it in. Um, this does not link you back to the actual assignment. So I'm going to, I'm going to include that in the post for the with the announcement with this video um, so that you can open up that entire document. Remember how important those full documents are. And I'm gonna point out to the people who create these that they need to put it in here um, because that's an important part. However, it does give you a nice um, 
Oh, no, there it is. Okay, I'm just imagining things. There are two links here. One is the checklist for revisions. The other is the full assignment sheet. Now, you may have already printed this out or taken good notes on it because we've talked about it so many times, but this is where you want to really go dig in and remind yourself of what the criteria are for the paper. So, for example, the requirements include it has to be a Word document or a PDF. I've still got some folks who are trying to write things just in the submission box and then hit go, and that's not acceptable for the for the formal assignments. Um, so again, this is what this document will help you with. All right. So once you're done with that, you uh, once you're done writing the first draft or what you feel like is complete, you can utilize this checklist for revision. Um, and here's a suggestion, even though the people in your immediate family circle or friend circle may not be highly, you know, college educated, whatever, anybody other than yourself can help you revise a paper because, of course, it looks good to us. It's what we wrote. It's what we thought. And our thoughts make sense to us the way we put them on the page. Getting anyone else to help you revise can be super, super helpful. So if you have a friend or family member that you trust to take a look at your work, print this out for them or have them use this checklist as they go through your, your draft and you use it for yourself as well. Um, it's a really helpful tool. So make use of that, make use of me, make use of the tools that are available through the tutors and, and the library and all the other fun stuff and uh, you'll submit your final version of that paper finally, 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 um, by the end of Sunday. Um, and then of course, we only have one week after that. This is your major, major assignment. So um, please, 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 if you feel like you're falling behind or you don't understand something, please let me know. Uh, I promise you, I can help you. All right, everybody have a great week. I'll see you next Monday if I don't talk to you before then.